Right, it's Balkis, yes, and we will be rounding up the circle skirt series we've been on for a while, and today I will be making a half circle skirt. A half circle skirt like what I'm having on here, can you see that? Yeah, what is the difference? This is less full, and also you need half of the fabric you use for a full circle skirt to actually make this, yes. So it's not compulsory you have a lot of fabric before you can wear a circle skirt. So right now I'll be demonstrating how to make this simple half circle skirt. So firstly, I've already made a detailed tutorial on the formula of a circle in relation to waist measurements and how to calculate your radius for a circle skirt. But here I'll be making a quick one. Like here I have a full circle skirt and here I have a half circle skirt. Like for the formula for a circle is your um, is circumference, which is also your waist measurement, which equals 2 pi r. So to get our radius, that will be circumference over 2 pi r, uh, over 2 pi. So as I've said in my previous video, that pi already has a value. The value for pi is 3.142. It's a constant. So, for the waist, I am said circumference also means waist measurement. So, in relation to our skirt measure, um, to our circle skirt, it means radius equals waist measurement over two pi. Two pi means two times this value or this value plus this value again. So, which will give us 6.28 so this is for a circle and for a half circle it means half of a full circle so now we need a formula for half of this circle so that means this divided by 2 so here <coughs> we said circumference equals 2 pi half so the formula for the half circle will be circumference equals pi r because this is half a circle. For full circle, it is 2 pi r. But for a half circle, it is pi r because we only need 1 pi. For a full circle, it is 2 pi. But for a half circle, it is 1 pi. So now, to get our radius will be equals what? Circumference over pi. And then, in application to our own circle skirt, our body measurement, so that will be radius equals circumference, that is, the waist measurement waist measurement over pi. Pi is what? 3.142. So this is the formula for a half circle. And why this is a formula for a full circle. So, so now to get my own radius for my body measurement. So we already derived that radius equals waist measurement over 3.142 for a half circle skirt. So my waist is 36 inches, my skirt length is 42 inches, plus one inch seam allowance for the lower part, that will make it 43 inches. And my band height is two inches. I want a band height of two inches. So now I have to determine my skirt length without a band height, because that is what I've cut out before joining to the band. So since my skirt length is 43, I'll have to minus the band height from height. So it will be 43 minus, 43 minus 2 inches, which is for the band height, will be 41 inches. So now, going back to the formula again, radius equals waist measurement divided by 3.142. So since we'll be needing a um, seam allowance for the zip, so we have to add that seam allowance to it. So that will be waist measurement plus seam allowance over 3.142. So here now, my waist measurement is 36 plus one inch, if you had one inch to the waist measurement, you will have one inch seam allowance on both sides. If you want two inch allowance on both sides, then you can have two inches, but I want one inch seam allowance, so I'll be having just one inch. So that will give me 37 inches over 3.142, which is equals to 11.78, which is approximately 11 and three quarter inch. So now, I explained in my previous video, in which I will put the link in the description box below, that for uh, um, <clears throat> upper seam allowance, you just take away half an inch. 
so from your uh, derived radius so that will be 11 and 3 quarter inch minus half an inch which will give me 11 quarter inch or 11.25 inches it means the same thing so now i will show you how i fold my fabric and how i'll cut it out and now this is my fabric my fabric because i'll be making a magazine our circle skirt so i am using a fabric which is by 60. if you are using a fabric that is by 45 you could use that for a mini or a midi but if you are using a fabric that is by 45 and you want a magazine you have to add the fabric to that length to get your desired length but here i already have a fabric that is by 60. so now what i'll do now is just add my radius which is 11 and quarter to my skirt length without band which is 41 which will give me 52 and quarter so and here i have 60 so it should be more than enough to accommodate my radius and my skirt length so now from here all i have to do is to determine the 52 and quarter inches along here so what i just do is the 60 so i place it this way and then i fold over so can you see that so this is how we fold for a, uh, a half circle so what i'll do to make it easier because this will be just be so too wide for me so all i'll do is to take this piece and then join it with this other one you can do it on the floor so that it will be easy for you I'll join it like this and place it on my table. Can you see that? So I'll cut off my radius and then the skirt length. So it will be more than enough to accommodate the waist measurement, uh, the skirt length. So I'll be placing on my table. So I will fold my fabric and then I will start imputing my radius. So all I have to do, since my radius is 11 and quarter, I'll start from here. And mark out my 11 quarter like this then i'll go again making sure your your tape is at the edge of the fabric because that is the center of the circle then we keep going this way till we get to the other end this is my 11 quarter and then the last one 11 quarter and then I will join so now can you see that the reason why I subtracted half an inch seam allowance from my radius was because you will need seam allowance to, to sew this to the waistband you will need some allowance so I actually I got 11 and 3 quarter inch for my for my radius which will be around here 11 and this is 11 and quarter so 11 three quarter will be around here can you see that but the reason why i subtracted is that when you join with this same allowance then your waist measurement will be here so when you when you now have your seam allowance here at the half an inch that we removed so if you now measure from here you'll be getting your half rate 36 inches because my waist measurement is 36 plus two inches seam allowance for the zip on both sides then that will make it 38. So now, when you cut this, the reason why I, I subtracted, that was why I, that is why I'm explaining now. So actually, my radius was 11 three quarter, but I subtracted half an inch, which gave me 11 quarter. But if you, after sewing, then you will have this 11 three quarter. Like now, so now let's measure the half inch seam allowance. So when you sew, you now be here. So now I'll just measure through to see if we are actually on track. Can you see we have nine and half? So nine and half, let's double it. We have 19. So 19, when you double it, you have 38. Can you see we are on track? 36 for the waist measurement and one inch, uh, one inch for one side, one inch for two, uh, the other side, making two inches. So 38. Can you see what I did is on track? So after doing this, then we go to the skirt length to measure out the skirt length to make it easier for me because my skirt length without band was 41 so instead of going around this way this way down down i might not get the accurate 
measurement. So all I do is just add the 41 inches to the radius of 11 and quarter, which will give me 52 and quarter. So now from here down, I'll be measuring 52 and quarter. So now I'll measure out my 52 and quarter because I added my skirt length without band to my radius. So I'll measure my 52 and quarter, which is here. Then I'll keep going like that. 52 and quarter here. And then make sure your tape is at the edge. So 52 and quarter here. And we'll keep going that way. And then lastly this. So after mapping it out, then I'll connect the line as curvy as possible. And then I'm through. Now it's time to cut out. So I'll cut it all through. So I will cut now that, then I'll go to the radius and also cut out. And then I'm done. And now the half circle is ready. Can you see that? And that is it on how to make a half circle. Can you see it's so, so easy. And for the band, I folded my fabric into two. I need a, a 38. That is my um, waist allowance plus two inches seam allowance. So all I have to do, since I folded my fabric into two, so I need half of 38, which is 19. So I will measure out 19 here, this way. And for the height, I said I want a two inches height band. So all I will do, since I will fold it over like the one I'm having on, like this, I folded it over. So that means I'll be having four inch because when I fold it over, it will be two. So four inch, then I need half inch seam allowance on both sides. So making one inch. So four plus one, that will be five. So I will cut, cut five inches along this side. So 19 like this and then five inches along this side. And then I will cut out. Now I'll be cutting my band that is 19 inches by 5 inch because I folded it into 2. 38 divided by 2 is 19. So I measured 19 this way and then 5 inch here, which I've explained. So now I will cut out. Now this is my band so when I fold it over it looks like this so I'll be adding interlining to it and then my band is formed so and that is just it on how to cut a half circle skirt you can see it is super super easy once you've gotten your measurement right so just try your heart and share your pictures with us so if you haven't subscribed to my channel hit the red button right down also join us on Facebook sewing innovation is a close group where we put up illustration on some question asked about an outfit so guys go make some half circle skirts so catch you later